Uh, we opened our factory in May, a uh, big grand opening, which was fantastic. Uh, but the last six months have been very tough. Uh, the market, not just in Wales, but in the whole of the UK, has been really difficult, uh, largely due to, I think, lack of finance. Um, but we are seeing, uh, as I said when I was speaking earlier, we are seeing uh, the tap, it seems to be coming on, uh, with the expectation that the rock is going to reduce in, in just a year and a half's time. So I think that's brought forward a number of projects. Uh, and uh, from where we are now, I think there are some really good prospects for our business, certainly. But unfortunately, not enough, not, not enough of it in Wales. Uh, there, there's absolutely no doubt in my mind that there are opportunities for significant wind farm development in Wales. Uh, you know, we have the resources here in Wales, and, and we've really underdeveloped uh, in, in the years to date. Uh, and I'm no advocate that we should cover the country in wind farms. Um, but unfortunately, despite all the rhetoric, uh, I, I don't think there's been the strength of leadership uh, to, to take us forward and actually build some of that development. Um, so uh, I, I think this group really needs to come together uh, with a common voice for Welsh renewables. Politically, I think there is a will, but there's a, a fear always about election time. Uh, and therefore, the views that are often taken by politicians are quite short term. Um, and, and I can understand that. <laughs> it's called employment, something we all have to deal with, you know. Um, but the, the issues of energy supply and energy security are far longer, more long-term issues. Uh, so I think uh, there needs to be strong leadership politically, but also there is a part for a, a, a Welsh renewables group to actually lead as well and give those political figures uh, the ammunition, the information that they need to win over the public.